on YouTube, um, I just tried to make a video real quick, but then I sneaked, so I had to start over. Um, anyways, God loves you all, God bless, uh, I don't know if maybe the lighting helps more, but I don't know, it's poor lighting, I'm in the bathroom, that's why you hear the air conditioning fan thing. Um, alright, I just wanted to say some stuff, like, things have been on my mind, and I know, uh, I'm in the, I just finished, I read today, the, the book of, uh, Esther, and, like, basically, um, because of the right people who were in the position, Esther and Mordecai, uh, her uncle, who had took her in because her parents passed away, and, uh, because Queen Vashti, uh, decided to, to ignore the king's, uh, you know, edict or whatever to, to his, you know, his words, his command to go to her, to go to him, uh, he, uh, he dropped her as queen, so that way all women wouldn't think it'd be okay to just disrespect their husbands and stuff. Anyway, so, these things had me started thinking and then between that and then between other stuff and uh, that story like you know it's only 10 chapters it takes like 20 30 minutes to read through it it doesn't take that long like it took well, it takes me 20 or so minutes um, anyway so I mean it's, it's worth it for someone to maybe read it maybe five chapters one day and five the next it's only 10 chapters but it's it's a good story and it reminds like it makes me think uh, how we need to have the right people in authority for for schools, judges, police officers, lawyers, doctors. You can have a crooked doctor that could decide, okay, well, I could save this person, but they don't have money. I'm just going to let them die. That's, to me, this stuff kind of irritates me when they put such a high price on money and for someone's life, and then people supposedly die because they don't have the money for these things. There should not have to be something like that to where if someone can't afford $500,000 for the surgery, then they're dead. I thought doctors have obligations and they cannot, under oath, turn anyone down. But apparently, what have we come to, right? And because uh, it just made me, it makes me realize like um, how the students are starting to fight and that even the, the, the parents are fighting against the school boards that are supporting BLM, racism supporting other crap and it's in there forcing transgenderism lgbt and, and and all these other things down people's throat equality and it's even more so that basically if you're white you're like you're the devil or if you're a christian especially a white christian and you're the devil times like infinity and all these things really pissed me off and god that's i'm sorry forgive me i don't know if that word is said or not or if i don't know i just I'm kind of conscious drinking myself sometimes about certain words and things. I try not to say it, but these things really, really frustrate me. Um, so even if you can't see my face that great, it's, like I said, it's the bathroom lighting and my brother's out there playing his games in the room. So anyway, uh, so it bothers me like the right type of people. Like, first of all, it starts at home. So if you raise your child upright and or, if, you know, your siblings, your loved ones, and you guys are putting God first and then if you're, you know, the, like, the, the, the right respect, the right manners, the right, you know, attitude and, and sharing and not, you know, just take, take, take. But if you give more than you take and you live a life of, you know, you know, being, I'm not going to say a good person. But, okay, like, if you live a life glorifying God, if you live a life that's glorifying God, then you're trying to be the best you can. Sometimes we all make mistakes. That happens, of course. I've never said I was a sinner, never said I was perfect. You read my, basically, you listen to my autobiography, whatever, my video stuff, and tell you a whole bunch of crap about me that I'm not proud of. But, I... I mean, of course, if I took back all that stuff, then I wouldn't have the testimony I have today, right? Even if I could. Like, some things I would take back if I could, but it glorifies God more that I guess that I have that background and that, you know, I am where I am. Even though I don't have that many views on all these videos, I still keep making too many videos no one's going to want to maybe watch, right? Like, there's like, oh, he's got 50 videos, he's got 100 videos. I ain't going to watch it all. So sometimes, though, it actually makes sense to re- re edify or, edify or re you know to reassure certain things too though so one thing I want to discuss real quick and I always say real quick but it's always 10 to 15 minute video sometimes 20 I know I really gotta stop having a habit of that because I lie whenever I say something I end up sometimes doing the opposite um 
it bothers me when people say to to each their own and when they say like you know we have to accept people in their ways i don't have to accept your ways i can accept you as a person love you pray for you i don't have to accept your lgbt quality lifestyle i don't have to accept your abortion lifestyle i don't have to accept your racism lifestyle you know you say uh it's funny how they sit there and say BLM isn't a racist group, but then they want to say it Trump's racist. There's proof that BLM is racist. It, it's, just, it's in the title. Plus, it's actually founded by white women, which is kind of ironic and funny, who are lesbians, who apparently said they want to tear down the natural order of, of, like, of, of homes, of, you know, marriage, life, and homes, etc. Like, you look it up. Like, I'm not going to sit here and, like, you know, go through all that. But, anyways, so... All this stuff really bothers me. And so, they don't accept you if you're a Christian. And they don't accept you if you're white. I have to accept their crap? No, I don't. I accept you as a person. And I accept if that's the life you want to live, fine. But do not come near me. Do not talk to me. Do not associate with me. And see, Paul talked about that and so did Peter and others. We're supposed to turn away from those people, not be around them, not associate with them. It says to pray for others. It does not say you have to live with them, you have to be friends with them. I don't have to be your friend. I'm not here at the end of the day to make friends with people. If I wanted to make friends with people, I'd be conforming to your ways and standards and thinking, but I'm not. I used to think like you and be like you, and that's how I used to be before I knew God. And I want the same for everyone. I want everyone to know God, and then they'll see how foolish the life that you know most people, you know, especially in America, live. How many different cultures, religions so-called gods and idols and statues things that aren't even god like there's only one god if there was multiple gods the world would have been destroyed thousands of years ago it wouldn't have made it to adam and eve you know then a th couple thousand years whatever it was three or four thousand or something or etc or something or other till christ and then two thousand after christ that's like six thousand years or something i think that since adam and eve if there was more gods than one the world would have been destroyed by now a lot sooner just like if aliens actually did exist, which I believe they don't, we would know by now. So, I mean, all these things, like, frustrate me. But, uh, anyway, so, again, when people say, you know, oh, you gotta, like, I think you gotta accept them, you gotta accept, you gotta such and such. I accept if that's the sins you wanna make, fine. Now, people say, why are you so hateful? I'm not hateful, I just speak the truth of what I know. And I know because I read the Bible. The, the Holy Bible, and what I always tell people, if you if you haven't read the Bible, the Holy Bible, then just read it one time in your life. It'll, I'm sure it'll change you. If it doesn't, then your heart is hardened, you're stiff-necked, and you're one of those who, you know, just turn your back on God. The thing is, God says, many will be called, few will be chosen. I believe that. That means majority of everyone is called, but very few hear it, very few want to hear it, very few accept it. Some accept it for a bit, like the, the, the parable of the seeds, but then they turn away because of the pledges of the, of the world. I don't care to, to go out and have orgies, to do dope. I don't care for those things. I still drink a couple of days a week, and I got to work on that. And, you know, I am, and I know one day soon, you know, I just keep praying every day, and one day God's going to take all urges from me, and I'm looking forward to that day. I got a feeling it'll be near rather than, you know, sooner than later. Um, anyway, I'm almost done here. I need to wrap this up, but, um, I just, I want to, like, to let you all know that, I mean, it does matter who's in charge of the, of the school boards. It does matter those things because they're putting poison down your kids' throats. And, you I mean, and then, you know, I'm going to say one more th uh, thing and then go, people get mad at me. They always say, though, like, you know, not, not all, like, like, when people do get mad, they say, why does it bother me if I know someone else does something else that they're not supposed to? Well, okay, I think it was Jeremiah, but it might have been a different prophet. But God said, if I put this person in your path and you don't warn them, then they'll die for their sin, but the blood's on your hands. I'm not going to be staying with your blood. I'm not. Nor no one else's. So there go. I tell you what I know is the truth from God. And... I always tell people, just don't take my word for it, but read the word yourself. I mean, when people go to church and they live a certain way, that's what I did before I read the Bible myself. And I thought, oh, once saved, always saved. And that I thought repentance was something that it wasn't. And, you know, but, um, 
like, okay, like, God says, like, okay, he told, I think it was Jeremiah, he said about, you know, warn these people, so if I know someone else is, like, in a, you know, they're, 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 like, walking towards, you know, like, if they're walking towards a hole, they don't see it, they're blind, and I don't run and, you know, like, at least try to yell at them if I don't try to save them or stop them from going towards that hole. And then they walk, they fall into it. It's my fault, too. I'm, I'm guilty as well. I don't want to be guilty. I don't want to, you know, I want to turn my life around and I want to help others do the same. That's why my channel is and that's why I make videos like I do. One day, maybe it'll explode. I do have a, a couple thousand views on my cat video, which, you know, it's sad the video but at the same time I'm comforted knowing that people actually are out there and they people do reply on there and you know they're comforting in their words and most important comfort is God's comfort through any situation God's comfort is unlike any comfort we can give to each other or that we can make ourselves feel it's the comfort and love of, of God's hand with you through hard times and through struggles knowing that he will guide you and pull you out of this you know that this is only a rainy day, that tomorrow the sun will shine. I mean, so, anyways, God loves you all. God bless. Hope you have a, you know, blessed 4th of July and, you know, and a, and a second and third, because that's tomorrow and the next day first. Anyway, uh, all right. I just want to also say, uh, if you walk by someone or see somebody, just wave, smile, and say God loves you. That's, you know, I always try to tell it to as many people as I can that I come across. So, alright.